Listener, you may have noticed that we don't do as many ads on our podcast as you may hear on other podcasts, and that's because of the name and content of the podcast. We we do struggle to get ads, and that's why our Patreon is so important, especially because I'm about to bring on another new team member as we expand, and frankly, everyone on the team deserves more money. So if you've been listening a while and you can donate $1 a month, that's it, just $1 a month or more, think about it. Patreon.com slash WHGS, you get bonus episodes, extended uncut episodes, streaming of my weekly show, comp tickets, um, new merch is coming soon. I'm just trying to level with you guys that as big as this podcast may seem, we're still growing and we are at a disadvantage with the kind of content that we make, being gay, yada, yada, yada. So please go and and fix the corrupt capitalist system by donating (laughs) at patreon.com slash WHGS. You know I hate doing this, but I have to. And listener, go support Kate. They are starting their regular show, The Lucas Spectacular. It's a comedy show, drag, variety, music, all kinds of great things. Go check it out. Union Hall in Brooklyn, Thursday, May 26th. At the Kate Sis, go check it out Thursday, May 26th, listener. And then this week, one of my favorite comedians ever, Jay Jordan, is back on the podcast. He is so f-ing funny. Jay is in a thruple, and I have so many questions about that. And we deep dive into polyamory and what it's like to be in a thruple. And it's just a hilarious. Jay is just so funny off the cuff. You're not going to want to miss this one. He makes me laugh so hard. He's incredibly smart, brilliant. Brilliant writer and performer. Thank you, listener. That was a long audio note, but I really, if you're a patron already, I so appreciate you. And if you're not, $1 really does make a huge difference. And $3 for tons of bonus content. All right. Thanks, guys. I hope you have a, I hope you have a, just the most bottom, little bottom week. I hope people top you all week long. I hope you have to make no decisions and you just coast through life. Listener, if you know anything about me, you know that I like sex. And that's why I love products from, Foria, you can have better sex with a partner or by yourself if you use Foria and their incredible products. What's Foria? Foria uses all natural and plant based ingredients to intensify sexual pleasure and relieve discomfort. You can have better orgasms, more powerful orgasms. That's what I experienced when I used their Awaken Arousal Oil. The orgasms, they they lasted longer. They felt fuller. It was a really cool feeling. And that's why Foria has developed a serious cult following with tens of thousands of people who've had their sex lives transformed by using their products. So yes, listener, you have my permission to try this. I fully endorse you to go ahead and treat yourself to deeper, fuller, pleasure wherever you can find it as often as possible and you can start with a bottle of foria foria is offering a special deal for our listeners get 20 percent off your first order by visiting foriawellness.com slash ashley or use code ashley at checkout that's foria f-o-r-i-a wellness.com forward slash ashley for 20 percent off your first order i recommend their awaken arousal oil and their sex oil you will thank me later listener I'm in a semi-open thruply situation. So oh. one boyfriend is in California now, uh-huh. but my primary partner, Garrison, he came back from Europe and we had back from Europe sex. <gasps> Ooh, that's some good sex. And I have like some new edibles. We have the Google lights so we can change colors with the lights. Oh. So like, yeah. if anyone's ever said, okay, Google, and then the lights <laughs> turn red, yeah. then you're like, this is about them. <laughs> so you don't just do this so we can watch SVU. No, yeah. we're about to actually make a crime scene. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I have like a mesh tank top joke that I love, but then I'll be like, no, but actually I want to buy more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and they'll be like, for the bit, you'll be like, no. No. I don't even really do it that way. I should bring it back <laughs> just because I have so many now. I have like, <laughs> I have like. A Go mesh, on, tell us about your I mesh. Have a, I have a mesh button up. That's Are you serious? serious? You, yeah. Chance, you owe me a Coke. You feel <laughs> so silly when you're buttoning up something and people can still yeah. see, see your nipples. Your nipples. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I wore it on Fire Island a lot. I. <laughs> I have a couple of pictures in it. It's black and it's got like this red and blue like triangle pointing down, but it's it's mesh. I think it's like even more see through than this. That's yeah. not as see through. On stage it's though, see- the minute the light hits, yeah, it. the light, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs>
Um, uh, Jay, Jay Jordan is here to f- everything. Just everything. <laughs> he knows it as well. JFL, The Tonight Show, writer on The Problem. That's very good. With Jon Stewart. He has an album out. You can go. Yes. You can go buy that. Sometimes I just walk around the city, too, if they're ever in New York. If you're in New York, you might see me be boxing. If you see some nipples on a Greek god of a human being. Okay, yes, yes, yes. That it, could be Jay Jordan. Or it could be any lawyer, finance <laughs> person. Uh, what else do they do? Administrative assistant, it IT. Could be, definitely could be an administrative a assistant. A lot of, oh, wow. I will say particularly the cis gay subsection of the queer community in yeah. new york yeah you gotta keep up with everybody not just people <laughs> who want to be on tv i mean just i know a guy keeping up with works, keeping up with the jordans yeah but i know a guy who just works for facebook and i go well, you don't have to look like this yeah, <laughs> yeah. You, know, you don't know about programmers programmers i believe it yeah i know yeah. all about it it's a big thing like hot guys it was like just starting to happen maybe like 10 years ago it was starting mm. there were like programmers and now i feel like the same guys who got into finance to be rich and attractive and like just get women are now going into engineering for that purpose so now I we have see programmers it. i see it and those people are still so woefully unfunny that's the <laughs> They're they'll awful. be like so hot. They'll have tons of disposable income. They'll have an amazing living space. They'll have access to so much. <laughs> Just except, chicken, ticking off the boxes. <laughs> except for their brains. They're, the <laughs> fun part of people's brains that allows them to like laugh and yeah, like yeah, riff yeah. and be silly. Nothing. Don't yeah. you find that adults are just so sad? Yeah. I love comedians so much. And when I talk to regular people, it just makes me so sad. I like being surprised by like a super funny non-comic. Yeah. That's that's the joy I find yeah. in life. Yeah. But you know, when that actually happens, that happens usually post 50. Because post 50, you loop back around to like being super nihilist. So you go, oh, I don't give a shit. <laughs> back around to nihilism. You go, oh, I don't care. This this whole, all this could stop right now. Yeah. yeah. And I had a good sandwich today. So yeah. I'm happy. Right. And you'd be like, Mr. Jones, I love you. What's going on? He'd be like, I'm sick of these gay people. I go, okay, okay, all right, all right. I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. You got me, Mr. Jones. Yeah, you sick of them too, You're Jay? sitting there in your mesh button <laughs> yeah. down. You're well, like, do you know who you're talking to? Well, because for, for Mr. Jones, this was just the early 80s. <laughs> there is there's a bunch of older black and like uh yeah, afro so latino right. men so right. in new york who like wear mesh and it won't be gay for them they're just like it's hot as hell out here ain't it yeah. and you're like <laughs> we good let's do a t- little testy testy make sure two testies <laughs> sometimes three sometimes one sometimes one sometimes one one's okay three's okay too yeah, all of it's okay i've never seen okay. three. no testes are also fine i've Kate. never seen the three have you, is, is never, there like... i haven't seen two <laughs> <laughs> you haven't... <laughs> like, maybe i don't want you to maybe, think maybe <laughs> like a quarter of one <laughs> just in a short you know poking out uh, on that, a hot day oh no you know oh, no do y- y'all know that like in freshman year of college probably late high school for a lot of people too but freshman year of college when i was growing up you have a look of did you see his get eyes get ready, wider get ready. the <laughs> most the, you're having a literal flashback right now the most fun anyone could have and this is because of the movie waiting with ryan reynolds the most fun any person with testicles could have was <laughs> tricking you into seeing oh, their yep. testicles. Yes, absolutely. 2006, yep. 2008, you, everything was a trap. <laughs> everything. <laughs> everything was a trap. If yep. someone was like, hey, I got a piece of gum. I got gum on my shorts. Balls. If yep. someone was like, hey, um, <laughs> which is the bathroom this way or that way? Balls. If someone was like, the bat wing, all of these like fun yeah, little yeah, like yeah. jokes that like they played in this movie. Yeah. Rat, rat brain. Rat brain. Yeah. And, and it was not, this is, I'm, maybe I'm old. It wasn't sexual yeah, assault. Yeah. 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 <laughs> It, it was it just was, another time. But it was not. It was just right. another time. That this is that's gonna get both of us canceled. We're bye. both done. Bye, Ashley. Kate, enjoy the podcast. <laughs> no, because it happened. It, somebody did to me, and I was so mad. Mm-hmm. But I knew, given the current cir- circumstances, that if I had been like, that was really inappropriate and made me feel really uncomfortable. Would have made it worse. Everyone would have looked at me and been like, "What are you talking about? Yeah. What are you talking about?" But you do reserve that right to say that sucks and that's really uncomfortable, right. especially if it was yes, your professor. Of <laughs> 
can be like, whoa. Dad, put that away. My friends don't care. I, I, I you know what? I'm going to forgive any dads. If you've ever seen someone's dad's balls accidentally, it's because he legitimately did not know they were out. Yes, yes. <laughs> That is a Dad's. Kate's aspirational gender. Oh my god! I had to answer the door in a bathrobe today. I was so mad. I oh, was so mad. I thought mad. you were gonna be like, I was so happy. I'm peak dad. <laughs> Whenever you go, what the hell is? Hey, 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 hey. Like, what's up? Thank God, thank God, I don't have balls hanging out because they certainly would have flown. I was so mad. Chelsea had something delivered, and I was literally about to hop in the shower, and I could sh- hear that she was on a Zoom meeting. She was not flinching, oh. and the dog was barking in there with her, and I was like fuck this on me yeah so i put on actually <laughs> bathroom and answer the what? door and the guy didn't even like look at me he was just like here it is <laughs> whenever you have stuff delivered how crazy does your dog get so crazy right yeah this is um, i know we're moving into dogs but i just quickly want to say robe non-binary piece of clothing wonderful <laughs> very very I non-binary robe might be the most non-binary piece of clothing i you tie it up yeah you and it's like it's ceremonial it is it's it everyone is can it wear is a robe. both leisure and class in one item <laughs> and it's it, non-binary in that way too it's and for it everybody can be like, no matter what tax bracket you're in <laughs> it's also funny because it can be very sexy i'm wearing right. just a robe yeah but it can also be <laughs> yeah. like you're wearing just a robe yeah like the sloppiest <laughs> yeah <bit>. yeah <laughs> huh you look like you haven't gotten fully dressed in like two weeks. Yeah. Right, exactly, exactly. Or How like you put this on just for me. I like, think, <laughs> yeah, the big Lebowski has almost all of the letters LGBTQ in it. So like, it's there. Get rid of that K, yeah. throw in the Q. <laughs> the dude is a gender, I think, right? Yeah, I would say so. I would say so. Well, this is lovely. We bantered. Yes. Indeed. Yeah. Well, well what, thanks for coming. Ah, we're in the apartment. We're having gay sex. We're having gay sex with Jay. Jordan today. So yes. many ways that you can engage with his work. Yes. What, what are your handles? Oh, uh, on social media, it's all J Jordan, all one word. I think there's synchronicity throughout the universe. I think they're all the same. <laughs> on I, on Mars. On Mars. In the Andromeda. In the multiverse. Yeah. Uh, there's a universe <laughs> where I am not doing anything, but I still have all of those <laughs> yes. handles. I'm, I mean, that in that point, like that's the that's the like the wormhole that connects yeah, yeah. everything. <laughs> you got big, all the handles to be the same. You're a big comics guy, aren't you? Huge comics yeah. guy. Let, can uh, I for real? Oh yes, there is some new images came out today. So every year, starting last year, there's oh, been like excited. this. There's been this event for X Men specifically called the Hellfire Gala. And Whoa. every year, comics are gay. Comics are very gay. It's like a real event. There's costumes. It's like the Met Gala, but for <laughs> superheroes, wow. specifically for the X Men. And they just released some new costumes. Look at how happy he is. This, That's but so one cute. of these costumes is. That's gay. Is so... That's the gayest thing. <laughs> it's a, it's like the reverse of assless chaps is chestless sleeves. And there's like that. Yep. That's also very, very gay. Very gay. That's fun. The oh first one gosh. literally had little peep windows for the cum gutters. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, oh my God. But She-Hulk is a lesbian icon. Like Gambit, who I showed you the first I one, identify is as like a bisexual icon. Victor Von Doom is what happens when you want to be so gay, you rule your own country. <laughs> like that's how gay he is he's like a monarch level gay it's just i love it i love comics see the problem with she hulk is i feel like it's only a matter of time before it's a they hulk <laughs> go away Casey. yo you're she they hulk. Hulk. You're, you're she they hulk. you're fucking canceled for that i but also you so are she hulk okay give her a few years give her a few no. years and the she hulk will be a they she's it's going to be a she they hulk then a they she hulk then we're going full they hulk and then maybe he they hulk <laughs> now you're canceled <laughs> now you've done it that's when it gets troubling no but there's a there's a really cool conversation concerning gender in regards to superheroes specifically shape-shifting superheroes mm. so someone like mystique who has a gender that she prefers but she has played sexually yeah. throughout like the gender spectrum yeah. so that's in fact Originally, Chris Claremont wanted Mystique to be Nightcrawler's dad because she shapeshifted into a man Whoa. and impregnated someone, which fun. is like very like fun. a clownfish. 
Like a clownfish. You know about clownfish? I know all about clownfish. I okay. People were talking about Jay, Jay's got the X Men universe covered. <laughs> You've got Finding Nemo covered. I, Finding I, Nemo, Finding Dory. I do love Pixar, and if you want to talk about gay Pixar, if you want to talk about gay Pixar, you mean Pixar? I, I am your. You mean Pixar? <laughs> yes, exactly. Oh, Luca. Oh my God. Did you watch it? Not yet. Prepare. To lose your fucking That's mind. That's why I haven't watched it. If you watch Luca, there are two scenes close to the very end that make you scream yeah. cry. Oh, yeah, no. scream cry. And you think it's over. Yeah. This and then is there's something, more. This is something that they also did to me during Coco. And I hate you. Coco is also not, not, as, not as gay or gay, but amazing and just wonderful. <laughs> there... Why would they do that to us, Ashley? Because they gave us the one scene where you think you're all cried out. Yeah, yeah. And you go, oh, I yeah. got it out, but man, good. Yeah. And then they give you the other <laughs> scene yeah, and then where you just you're wail. You're on the couch for like an hour. Oh, my Lord. Luca, even thinking about those scenes makes me want to cry right now. Because, and then this people is, tried to tell me that in, in, Con in, in Canto. In, yeah. That people tried to tell me that that was a gay movie. And I was like, you guys don't even fucking know. I think, no, I don't Encanto know if it was gay, but it is like heart, you Encanto's, heartbreak for your inner child. Yes, like your, your yes. Child. There are people self. like reading into the colors in, used in the movie gonna... that it's a bisexual flag or something. Bruno's, Bruno's an uncle that the family doesn't like to talk about. Yeah, is, <laughs> yeah, there you go. Who also will never get married, who will only just kind of be part of the family and whose like opinions about things i.e. gossip, got people in trouble. <laughs> so I don't, it's pretty. But 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 Luca is a gay film in that it it's captures gay, gay. the gay experience yeah. and that's what it is about. It is about the gay experience. Got it, got it, got it. And it's beautiful. Yes. This is why I haven't watched it because I'm looking at my schedule and I'm like, I don't have... <laughs> Three hours to schedule in to watch you, and then cry. You, it's like I don't have a three cry hours for a while. <laughs> three, you need a weekend. Oh, because it's you? gonna even it's, more. It's gonna. I'll, I'll be seeing this movie in twenty twenty five. It's gonna like <laughs> pop back up throughout the day too when you're yeah, just walking. A week, a week later, you're gonna be like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> the sea monster. Uh, <laughs> and oh my god, because there's also. The threat we of just do a we, we just won't. do a Luca like, recap on there's this. There's like the threat of conversion therapy <laughs> yeah, in yeah. the movie. Yeah, scary. It it somehow when I reached the end of it, I thought, how did this straight director? Maybe he's bi. I don't know. And he and Pixar, of course, makes them insist that the movie is not gay. Oh, that's, that's <laughs> which is also funny, hilarious. That's the funniest part about it is that really? there's this meta level. Luca's so gay that Luca's in the closet. Yes, wow. as a gay movie, as a movie, wow. <laughs> conceptually, yeah. it can't even it say. can't even come out. It's like <laughs> you, you know, in high school when you would say, "Oh, we're gonna read the importance of being earnest," or we're gonna read um, anything by Oscar Wilde, and you're like, "Oh." I, I know what this is about. I know what the picture of Dorian Gray is about. Yeah. And then your teacher is like, yes, but <laughs> we also know that it's about beautiful imagery and it's about <laughs> aestheticism. It's about Victorian rules. And we go, and <laughs> we, we, we're going to say it, right? <laughs> He he went away to a work camp. Why was he sent away to a work camp? B because it's just like it's so funny that like yeah. it's like when it's in that space where it's like, yeah. are we gonna say it, say it, or are we just gonna like dance around it? And he's straight, and I I wonder, or he is I I don't know his inner feelings. The but director, he, yes, the director's married, has children, to married to a woman, has children, and I don't know what his inner thoughts are or who he knows. But this dude got it so well that I thought. Well, I failed as a gay artist. <laughs> There's no. nothing else I can contribute. This straight guy, thank God we have them. No, he you captured do. the it better than I ever could have. No, I well, you do a better job at, at being gay. At being gay thank day you. to day. Thank you. I, I, I mean, yeah, I you, walked you in. You put in the minutes and seconds. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I put in the fingers. <laughs> Ashley has put in the ten thousand fingers hours. <laughs> What did I, what's Malcolm Gladwell want us to do? Like, yeah, that much. However long it takes. Well, thank you for being here. I'm excited. We're so excited to have you back. And just, you're yeah. just such a great comedian. You and, are. And so one funny. Of, thanks. And Kate is. And comedy, it got gayer again this year. Yes. It's going to continue to get gay. 
until people realize the sassiest thing you can do is get on stage for 10 minutes and talk about your feelings stray boys <laughs> every straight man who's like i'm a man that's why i do man comedy i'm like if you were a, if you were a man if you were like a man who like is rough and tumble and likes to fight you would be on a boat and not <laughs> Not a fun boat, like a crab yeah, boat, like yeah. a shrimp, you know, a fishing <laughs> vessel. You would be digging up sea bugs. You wouldn't be on stage worried about time. You know, you wouldn't be coming up with stage on stage is the gayest place. It is. Be. It is literally the gayest. Look at me. Right. And there's a light. You know, it's. Oh, it's not, my God. It's not a very masculine yeah. space. The it's, man version of I got the light is I, ha I have the dry matches on the boat to light the saddest cigar you've ever seen. Be I smoked. think the man version of I got the light is a red dot on your forehead. <laughs> 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 it's you writing a letter to the sun you'll never see because you're on a boat that's what it is i have one year left <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. i got well. the lights <laughs> your mother is a good woman <laughs> <laughs> who's this from it was your father's he wanted you to read <laughs> should we do official intros i think we should thank you for 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 hosting <laughs> i'm ashley gadman cis gay white woman she her pronouns ashleygavin.com for tour dates and as always the cancel coach to keep me from getting canceled this guy he's building his is his fifa avatar avatar and that cuts way deeper than you think it does yeah there you it go it means a lot to him that is true because it is him <laughs> in his mind <laughs> kate sisk hey everybody it's me kate sisk the cancel coach the fat in the chat i'm a white bisexual lesbian dyke Go. And my <laughs> pronouns are she, he, and they. My gender of the week as submitted by the listeners. And boy, this one cut oh, this deep. this is great. Was Gibby from iCarly. <laughs> no! And, and that's also such a great one because I am constantly compared to Freddie's mom, Mrs. Benson. So you and I have habitating. Cohabitating? Cohabitating. <laughs> in the same fictional universe and i mean I think it, I he's think... even holding a banana like come on <laughs> you know they were a hot dog he's, <laughs> he's got little boy boobs and he's holding a banana <laughs> the best part about the fans submitting that is they went no 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 no, no. kate will like this <laughs> And I walked in when you opened it. I walked I walked in, you opened it, and you went, oh, no. <laughs> and I was like, Kate, is it bad? You were like, it's too accurate. Yeah. <laughs> it's too good, actually. They, they got me dead to rights. They, it's done. They totally understand. <laughs> if we could collectively somehow neural net all of this and get, get every submission into yeah. an artificial intelligence network yeah we could spit out your gender you would finally know right. what your pronouns are if i could just get a like one drop of blood from all these fictional characters <laughs> i would inject that as yeah. my testosterone yeah yeah exactly <laughs> and then you could become the the, the person that you that you really it's are it's so good it's the equivalent of when someone once called me childish gay bino and oh! i was like okay well that's I was like, that's 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 a that's very good. That's so that's very accurate. good. It's very good. I will live with it. I will and you know what? It. I will take it and eventually say it on stage and make money from it. Yeah. You bully. <laughs> yeah. When whenever people like really snipe you with yeah. like a specific observant and smart commentary, you go, oh, you this go is very good. <laughs> It's like you gotta shake their hand and just yeah. be like, "Well done." You, it's a duel. You go. <laughs> Did I show you Car uh, Freddie's mom from no, iCarly? Let me see. <laughs> yeah, I okay. See. This is the one ever. This is the same TV show. This is what people say I look That's like. That's kind of your old hair, more and like just from the volume. I never had a haircut like this. I just right. had bad yes. hair. <laughs> yeah. We should do the show. I mean, okay. Oh, this has been a fun show. It has it been has. a fun show. I don't even know. Sometimes when we do episodes like this, I'm just like. I can't hear what the listener wants. Mm. I know they love the stories and they love the sex or whatever. I had something planned. You seem super interested in the Brazilian MILF. I'm so interested Let me in the Brazilian uh, Actually, I'm just going to say something. Do you understand just how high the hit rate is on the two categories you just described? I <laughs> you just went. I know. You, people seem to want to hear about this 
free gold. Um, <laughs> people want to hear about this puppy that also shits ice cream. Like, yes, yes. I want to hear about the Brazilian milk. Well, we talked about it in depth, the sex. It was so good. I said, actually, at my show after, um, during my set, I said, as soon as I got on stage, I was like, sorry, I think I'm a little bit off because I, I had sex with this Brazilian milk and it fucked up my whole week. <laughs> <laughs> you you got fucked stupid. I I did, and the thing was that it was it was hours of foreplay because she was like, I don't have sex on the first date, so we just like had the most mind blowing sex without actually fucking each other. So then, so Ashley was like, okay, so then because we're having foreplay for three days, this counts as three dates. That's yeah. yeah. Wow. It was so much foreplay. At a certain point, I was like, we are fucking. Like just because. We're not, we are mentally fucking yeah. right now. Mm. It was so crazy. Would you count it as edging? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> that voice. The gravity in that response. <laughs> yeah. 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 She yeah. was so hot. I didn't yeah, even. My first tour was in. <laughs> <laughs> in Brazil. Brazil. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, we got to do something about this deforestation. <laughs> Um, yeah, but she was so I'm I'm the thing is I'm being a horrible person to her because I'm so busy right now with taxes and everything. And <laughs> so is she because that's her job. <laughs> I am Jay. That's so funny because that is a legitimate and very true and timely excuse. Yeah. But it's like it sucks. A very <laughs> if someone told me that they were so busy with taxes and I was like, I just gave you some of the best Amazonian rainforest <laughs> ever. You're gonna go back to well, W2s? <laughs> um, That's why it's taking you so long, because you can't understand I, numbers. I, I, I no longer <laughs> can. From how hard you got edged, on the last you episode. can't tell the difference between a two and a seven. <laughs> Ashley, got, Ashley is like, I'm, I'm dumb. I'm dyslexic <laughs> now. <laughs> I got fucked into dyslexia. <laughs> <laughs> when, the, when I hit my head against the headboard. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> and what's sad is they were 69 and so you should know numbers better. Now. <laughs> but yeah, so I have to text her and stuff like that. Um I've been trying to text her all day but I keep getting pulled into a phone call or pulled into whatever. Yeah. So I could text her right now. I mean yeah, and that it. could be the episode honestly. Yeah, ooh, ooh. I I saved her in my phone as the pregnant woman emoji, Brazilian <laughs> flag emoji. <laughs> Oh I'm so glad you God. laughed at that because I sent that to Kate at like two in the morning and I was like, this just, was worth it. It makes <laughs> so much sense, though, on paper. OK, Brazilian MILF is that that's not a cougar. You know what that technically is? A jaguar. <laughs> right. That's where they're at. That's that's what it is. That's, I'm just telling you, I'm a big cat aficionado. I know about. <laughs> I know Is about I know about the, the genus Panthera, right? Pan, yeah, the sounds Panthera, right. yeah, Panthera? sounds right. Yeah. someone will write in and tell it's us something. we're all wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway, I'm actually genuinely a little bit like, oh, I just texted her. Um, what? You didn't realize? Well, she just texted me back. Yeah, she oh. got two back. Can I tell you something? It's very even, evenly distributed. The blue and the gray. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's nice. Because sometimes you see. Yeah. Oh. So the, here, here's the thing. If anything, I I don't mind being I don't mind being solidly blue. Yeah. I don't mind. I, I'm the first person to say, yeah. Sometimes I text too much. I'm I'm happy to be in that position. I have no ego about it. I know I'm the simp. I'm the simp. <laughs> right? Like it's you know what? You know what my problem with I know this about myself that I will text paragraphs. I will text paragraphs and I'm it cool comes with from it. It comes from when I first got text messaging. I w I had like 200 texts that I was allowed to send. So instead of being like, yeah, yeah. Them out. okay, see you later. I'd be like, yes, okay, see you later. And also, just in case I need to know what's the address and yes. what, what's These? the backup plan and yes. as much information in one text as I could before it became too many characters and because that it was automatically because too. These oh, gabies, God. these gabies, they don't know. <laughs> they don't know. They don't know what we had to go through. No, they don't. There was a time. They make fun of us. Texting used to cost extra money yeah yeah you would get in trouble yeah i went to like so you have tr that's what i was gonna say my you have dad trauma around printed it printed out there my we go here it is this is out this is why he can't 
he doesn't he texts away he can because it's not just that because i had that all of the numbers I had of that text too, messages that i said but i didn't have that type of trauma i had a different type of trauma your trauma is the the phone bill yeah so now you are typing and you get anxious you see the text coming and you're like stop it yeah <laughs> You write a whole paragraph every, back. Every every text, you're like, "Dad's gonna see." Yeah. Gonna see. <laughs> He's gonna see it. He's gonna see it. Well, He's the reason, the only night that I could see her is tonight, and the reason I'm sorry. She goes, "That's not clear what I said to her." I'm going, "I'm sorry. I'm literally podcasting right now." <laughs> what did you say to her? I said, "Let's do tonight." The only time I can do with her is tonight, and I'm so worried because it's gonna start late because I have shows. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's going to start late, and I know we're going to fuck for several hours. Ooh, wow. Talk about champagne problems. <laughs> Me and my Brazilian and you have taxes mom. to do. And I have taxes to do in the morning. And so does she. Maybe what I do oh, is I get her to do my taxes. Uh, and that can be the new euphemism. Yeah. For sex. <laughs> so I guess I've been bullied into being with her tonight but i i don't know because i have a show tomorrow Bully. Oh, yeah. what are you doing twist tomorrow? my arm why don't you i'm leaving i'm going to massachusetts fuck easter oh yes 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 my boyfriend lapsed catholic he's yeah. culturally catholic they're like super irish catholic yeah. he still treats That's easter like like a huge deal yeah easter is the, like, the big one there was a discussion so i don't think we were but he was like are we gonna get a ham i was like we're not getting that <laughs> ham <laughs> Why? It's just us and a dog. He's like, we can I still, mean, the dog would love we the can ham. Think, we can think about ham. We can think about a ham. I'm not a. I'm not as. I'm not a huge fan of the ham. I liked ham when I was when I was uh that big roasted sliced thick ham. Yeah, I like. Really? I like yeah, the yeah. ham. Yeah, it has so it has to be done right. I like it. I like the honey baked ham. The honey. I'm the honey really has to get in there. Yeah. Otherwise, you have nice flavor on the outside and dry, dry, dry. I love you guys so much, but I'm gonna bring it back to the Brazilian milk. Yeah. It feels <laughs> strange that we're going on about honey baked ham. You really dadded this up. You've got the electric carver. I'm like, I want to talk about my my uh, Hitachi, please. Kate is our dad. Okay, we just talk about good quality deli meat. Oh, we got to talk about gay stuff all the time. I would like to qual- talk about good quality you know, deli meat. I have are, my Brazilian milk. The ham is per pound, trying- but the bone is in there, so you lose a few bucks. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you get you. That's, That's how they get you. Get you. <laughs> Same thing with the milk if the baby's actually inside. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> you got an extra nine pounds on that. I thought have, no, you, have you ever had sex with a pregnant woman? I'm so flattered that you think that I might have. <gasps> but a little pregnant maybe not oh, right you might a couple not hours maybe <laughs> a couple she might hours not i'm blowing my fingers out i'm like this doesn't look right <laughs> <laughs> i found a condom in there oh, oh my no. gosh oh. Well, anyway i go i'm so busy i'll hit you up after she's i said i'm sorry i'm literally pos- podcasting right now she goes ha 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 i appreciate the effort then i said i'm so busy i'll hit you up after she goes i hope you can relax a bit with me oh later tonight she does not mean that we are not going to be relaxed but that's what she means like real, i assume she means relax oh, yeah. so that you can engage in the moment that's like whenever this is a phenomenon among queer men if you've ever said what are you doing and someone says oh i'm just like relaxing that means we can start to mutually jerk off. The dick pics are about <laughs> to Does start. she want me to send her a sex right now? Yeah, send her a sex. I say, because relaxing. Ooh, I'm getting dots. Relaxing via text is like, so she, you're she free. Might, so she you're might free. be sexing me. I'm telling you. I was t- going to have a date with myself tonight. Happy you'll be in it. Aww. This she's really sweet so so sweet beautiful. she said to me on the last date she was like i think i could really like you and i was like i i felt strange because i knew this is not she's not she, she lives far away she's fundamentally never gonna be my where, person where is she a different state okay. a way far away state wow about as far away as you can get hawaii it's hawaii <laughs> it's hawaii it's not hawaii it's hawaii oh, that would, that would right. somehow make her even no, hotter it's... This it's, Brazilian milk. Oh, she lived on Hawaii actually for a year. See, oh. during the pandemic, she just went to Hawaii, surfed, 
to the, she's oh, just a, just a fundamentally fuckable person oh, in every man. way. The, the, okay, the she's last... highly educated, also a surfer, uh, a, a MILF, but still like very like young, hot, sexy. The last surfer that I knew, knew, he was, it, this goes back to freshman year, he was in our dorm on our floor. His name was Surfer Nate. And he, Surfer Nate? Because we had a little Nate. We had a Nate. Well, Nate, Nate little Nate. And Surfer Nate. And Surfer Nate. But Surfer Nate also was like 6'4". And he was so fucking hot. Yeah. Oh, my God. He was the kind of hot where like freshman guys were like, man, that guy's really cool. And I was like, you can say you want to fuck him. We all do. And he, he would show his balls a lot. And it was... <laughs> And it was one of those times where he was like, isn't that crazy? And I'd be like, yeah, you better not do it again. Yeah. That was do you like balls? Yeah. I like balls. I like this as a bisexual. I'm so happy to be wherever I'm at down there. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're, you're not just bisexual. You're literally bisexual between balls and cock. Yes. You're but, like, well, I feel them equally. I, I, I can't I, pick. Balls can be like really fun to like play with during like, because they're a hazard just, like, throughout the day. <laughs> yeah. They're troublesome. <laughs> they're but, troublesome. But, like, during yeah. sex, they're a fun extra place you can stimulate. Yeah. But then also, vaginas are so much fun because there's mystery. Dicks don't offer nearly enough mystery once they're out. <laughs> yeah. Vaginas are still mysterious. <laughs> yeah. And they always will be. They always they will always be. Will they be. always will be. Because yeah. it's 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 um external Because we'll genitalia. never, we'll never uh, have enough women in STEM to figure them out. <laughs> So they'll always be a mystery. Uh, no. no, they will. <laughs> what we really need is an increase in female spelunkers. <laughs> Just people with work lights on their car heart, hard hats. I actually think we have there. enough of those <laughs> specifically. <laughs> they might not be spelunking, True. but they're getting something out of the garage. <laughs> um, I guess my gay sex from this week is pretty, pretty light. You know what happened to me today that I probably should have said? What? I got catcalled today. Whoa. Oh, I was working outside. I had a girl with me. We kind of looked. We're looking at each other because it's spring and it's nice. Yeah. Ashley, you are in heat. I'm, Something is going yeah, yeah. on. I'm, I kind of. I was trying to figure out whose bottle the wine bottle was. Fuck off. Whoa. <laughs> if there's wine in the apartment, the Ashley is fucking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Don't come don't, a knocking if the cork is a popping. <laughs> Yeah, oh you're, you know, I don't drink. So if there's wine here, there's <laughs> Kate, a girl. Kate, that is such a funny, good friend observation. You're like, yeah. I kind of, whenever I, this I was like, Cabernet, all right. <laughs> I sat with notes of pussy. <laughs> Does this originate in Brazil? I'm getting some. <laughs> it's got a good body. Um, yes. Yo! <laughs> 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 that was so good. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but uh, this guy cat called us because we were Both looking at each other. Yeah, and he goes, <sighs> kiss, just kiss, <gasps> kiss. I Ew. And I'm like, so, first of all, more zen than I used to be. Thank you, meditation. <laughs> yes. helps, me, helps me from screaming at those people. Yes. So I was just like, I turned to him. I was like, listen, I'm going to be a nice lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that to people anymore. You're so New York. You're so New York. Ashley's training. Ashley's training men. Yeah. Listen, I, 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 no, no, no. I'm gonna be a nice lesbian. That's literally. I went into full teacher mode, and then I said, that's, "And you know that's what? Your first strike up on the chalkboard. Right, yeah. <laughs> if you get three, you don't cut to come to the pizza party. If you get three, I'm gonna cut it off with a box cutter. Yeah. As you know, <laughs> I know where you live now. <laughs> so I say to him, he's with his buddies who are clearly embarrassed. I say, why don't you kiss your friend? And I just cat called him right back. I said, kiss your friend. Kiss him. He goes, on the forehead? I was like, no, kiss him. <laughs> and that's kind of where it ended. No, but that's beautiful. Oh, my he God. He didn't kiss his friend. Isn't uh, that weird? That's but what if they would have, like, pecked and then pecked again and, like, Boom. <laughs> then I would have been like, all right, I guess I gotta make out with this girl now. Right? You would have been see, like, oh, that okay. is straight behavior to make out passionately with your bro so that you can see these lesbians kiss on the street. That is that that is straight. I like to Ashley me. seeing that go. Fair is fair. All yeah. right, come on, here we go. 
<laughs> well, anyway, sorry to interrupt. No, your, that's, your a, story. that's another story. You gave us three stories almost I, today. Yes. <laughs> Listener, don't forget to support the Patreon, patreon.com slash WHGS. That's how we pay Alex. He is a full-time employee of the podcast. We could not pay him on ads alone. That's how we pay Kate. And, of course, me also. This is full-time work, so please consider going and donating. And in return for those donations, you get bonus episodes. You get comped tickets when I'm in your city um, you get extended, unfiltered, uncut episodes, um, weekly access to my Zoom stream of my show in New York, and lots of other stuff. Patreon.com slash WHGS. Listener, I'm going on tour and my shows are starting to sell out. It's amazing. Thank you so much for supporting me. I'm also going to the craziest places. I'm going to Omaha. I'm going to Des Moines. I'm going to places in Ohio. If you think your city is too small and you're not on my text list, you are wrong. So if you're not up to date on the pod, you're not checking my banned Instagram and my my suppressed TikTok every week, the text list and the email list is a great way to keep up with what I'm doing and all of these tour dates. We're talking like 50 cities at this point. It's incredible. Thank you for your support. I hope you can come and see me live, listener. And listener, go support Kate. They are starting their regular show, The Lucas Spectacular. It's a comedy show, drag, variety, music, all kinds of great things. Go check it out. Union Hall in Brooklyn, Thursday, May 26th. At the Kate Sis, go check it out. Thursday, May 26th, listener. Listener, sex is a big part of my job. (laughs) You know that by now. So you know how important my sex life is to me and frankly, my business. And that's why not only as a sexual person, but also as a businesswoman, a business gay, I highly recommend that you try Foria. Who's Foria? Foria is using all natural and plant-based ingredients to intensify sexual pleasure and relieve discomfort. Imagine the best orgasm or sex you've ever had. Now imagine that it could be even better with products by Foria that were designed to naturally enhance sexual pleasure and give you access to bigger and better orgasms solo or with a partner. I myself had tried the Awaken Arousal Oil and the Sex Oil. I love both of them. My orgasms felt way fuller, more 3D. I don't know how to explain it. They lasted longer. They were more powerful. I absolutely love Foria's products. And you might not think that you need to make your sex better. I certainly didn't, but I was so glad that they sent me their products to try because it absolutely did make my sex life better. I was pleasantly surprised. I was more than pleasantly surprised. And in case you're wondering what an arousal oil is, Awaken Arousal Oil is like a juicy warm-up that helps you get really turned on, increasing your pleasure, and deepening your orgasms. Awaken uses CBD and warming sensation-inducing organic botanicals that enhance arousal sensitivity, pleasure, access to orgasm, and helps with any discomfort. Best of all, it just turns you on, and I can attest to that. So yes, listener, you have my permission to try this stuff. I fully endorse you to go ahead and treat yourself to more, deeper, fuller pleasure wherever you can find it as often as possible, and you can start with a bottle of Foria. Foria is offering a special deal for our listeners. Get 20% off your first order by visiting foriawellness.com slash Ashley or use code Ashley at checkout. 20% off, listener. That's a lot. That's F-O-R-I-A wellness.com forward slash Ashley for 20% off your first order. And once again, I recommend trying their Awaken Arousal Oil and their sex oil. You'll thank me later, listener. Did you have any gay sex this week? Ooh, I had gay sex. So my boyfriend, he was in... Europe. And You're in an open back. relationship, correct? I'm in a semi-open thruply situation. So oh. one boyfriend is in California now. He's since moved to California. Uh-huh. But my other, my boy, my primary partner, Garrison, he came back from Europe, and we had back from Europe sex, <gasps> which is great sex. Oh, wow, that's some good wow. sex. Yeah, that is especially if it was Eastern Europe. <laughs> it, some, some, it, some stress, some repressed. fear, <laughs> fear. He, he was in Switzerland, so it was like not crazy, crazy repressed. Neutral, but neutral ne- sex, <laughs> neutral sex. <laughs> but he no came, tops, no bottoms, <laughs> just, just an equal exchange. Everyone's aside, which is a thing. <laughs> that just means you like oral more than penetrate than like the other stuff. Oh, I've never heard that. It's People, it's something that I saw online and I can pretend like it's a fact. Um, <laughs> Maybe. I know some sides. I know some guys who are sides. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was really good back from a work trip sex. Yeah. Where like you go, oh, this happened. And I have like, I have some new edibles. We have the lights that are the Google lights so we can change colors with the lights. Cool. So I, like, yeah. There's I the cue. There's a cue like when you turn the lights a certain. If anyone's ever said, okay, Google. And then the lights turn red. <laughs> yeah. 
then you're like, this is about them. So <laughs> you don't just do this so we can watch SVU. No, yeah. we're about to get, we're about to actually make a crime scene. <laughs> we're going to do something like especially heinous in this room. They're going to need to take that black light to this rug. <laughs> Olivia Benson is going to be like, everything okay in there? <laughs> I'm going to be like, yeah, Liv, we're good. <laughs> So it was very, very good. That was last week. She's like, week. why does my agent keep booking me on this? <laughs> <laughs> and Ice-T's like, yeah, sometimes, you know, men love other men passionately. What are you going to do? <laughs> That's my favorite thing is Ice-T, like, just becoming kind of funny on the show, but yeah. also just kind of, like, through with everything. That's always how they write him. He's like, I yeah. Think- I forgot Anthony Anderson's on one of those. He's on the new one, the new reboot oh. of the Law and Order original. What is I didn't that know man that. doing? When people in Hollywood get busy, they have seventeen jobs. Like you'll, there are people that will not rest until He's they one have. Of them. Like he was a, an three, Iron Chef judge. They'll have like three hosting <laughs> gigs. That's the crazy part. If you you're like hosting three different very busy game shows when people can do that i'm like oh how is steve harvey on family feud and in the courtroom oh i know Insane. and at the miss universe pageant well, he's got a full team right full team handling everything else right? as much as possible so that he can just be creating the work and he's a fashion icon oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> yay the, the cat jumped on the soundboard that's Little perfect that was perfect, perfect time. oh Here, yeah big fan of steve harvey Oh, yeah. Of oh, course. Yeah. Fulton's made out of the same stuff that Steve Harvey's mustache no, is. Fulton, of course, Fulton is a Steve Harvey fan. He's a black cat. I was hoping I was hoping you'd make the joke because I didn't feel comfortable making it. Because one time we did make black cat jokes and it got a little bit dicey with the cancel quote. Oh, no, I love it. I love every part oh, of there it. There he is. <laughs> Survey um. says. <laughs> Man, he's I, he's the he's meow. Such a funny <laughs> Family Feud host. He's so fucking. Funny. He's a wild. Does he, he wants hate them. Gay people? He no, hates- I think he loves gay people. I think he loves gay people in the same way every black man that gets kind of old in Hollywood loves gay people. He's like, y'all, <laughs> y'all are crazy. <laughs> Woo, you doing what? Where? Oh man, I used to do that back in the day with a lady, but you know sometimes. Woo, okay. <laughs> I mean, woo. My, but he also dress because he loves clothes so much. I think that he has to be okay with gay people. Yeah. The the yeah. closer you get to being like avant garde style wise, the more His sissies big. I see around you. But he's also like <laughs> he's got like this like huge like green jacket, and he's got all mm-hmm. these new looks, and I think his. His wife is like very, very much like a fashionista, so she probably has gay people on her team. I thought team. you were going to say masculine. Oh, no. I, I have no idea. That's his not wife a, is a total uh, motorcycle butch. That is his wife, That's not a dig at his wife. I have no idea his what wife his wife looks is like. very much a man. No, it's, um, <laughs> it's the people that I know aren't okay with gay people. I can always see it because I'm always like, you showed up to the Emmys kind of wrinkled? Well, yeah, you don't. <laughs> I don't expect to hear anything good from you about us. So, wait, I want to just get this in, even though these riffs are so fun. I just want to make sure I don't miss this. I didn't realize you were in a thruple situation. Oh, yes. Is it a complete triangle? It's Yes, it was a complete triangle because it was it was like a, a recurring guest. You know, when you have, you'll be like, we're having a lot of threesomes and a lot of like. At a certain point, you're like, just join the cast. Yeah. <laughs> you, the, the people love you. Uh, yeah, you want to, yeah, you want to bump, you want to bump them up to the regular cast. Yeah. And so that was a lot of 2019 and 2020. But then early 2019, we also, I also was crazy in Fire Island. I remember specifically <laughs> one Fire Island week. I was like, Jay, you know, you can say no to things. Just remind yourself, <laughs> remind yourself. You can say no to things. <laughs> but no. Uh, so Brian lives in California now. So I'm actually going to get to see him soon. But he's in California and Garrison travels for work a lot now. And the reason it actually works so well is because when they first when they first like really got close, I was doing a lot of college shows. And so they had each other in the city yeah. while I was in the Midwest entertaining tons of dozens sometimes tens of people (laughs) and i'd like see them on dates like via instagram messages and stuff and i'd be like i'm so happy y'all are happy (laughs) but i would be i'd be very happy so that was how that started and now because brian lives in california i love him dearly but if he was if tomorrow he was like oh jay i'm I'm, i want to go on a date with someone in california i would be like of course you live Mm. in california Mm. now 
Mm-hmm. You have a car in an apartment in California. There's something about being like, I'm going to be, I'm going to be 34. You never want to stifle someone because you're like, oh, we're all hurtling towards death. Yes. I, I never want to be like, <laughs> you can't do stuff because yes. I say so. Yeah. Like you're probably experiencing like a tiny part of this with someone who lives very far away. The, the Brazilian part, you're like, and I want you to be so happy. But when we're together, we are going to be disgusting. But whenever we're not. We're I have to- this with a different situation, but I totally, yeah. totally understand. There's just like no point in making it about you. It has yes. nothing to do with you. It has to do with death. Yes. <laughs> yes. And with time and with energy. You and- have one life. Right. Live it. And anyone who tries to prevent you from being happy, even when you're far away, is an actual supervillain. Yeah. You'll be like, oh, that's like some evil, like controlling. You can't control me across time zones. <laughs> Right? <laughs> you don't even know what That's I'm going to do. That's how cheating works. You don't it even know what It only matters if you're in the same time zone. <laughs> if you're asleep, I can do whatever yeah, I yeah, want. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm looking into the future and oh, I'm going to do some math. <laughs> but it's that was my It's Tuesday guess. here. It's still Monday there. I can do what I want. Yeah, I'm imagining like a weird movie plot where someone's allowed to use their hall pass during the weird swap over time <gasps> in daylight savings time. Oh, actually. When the clock you should, strikes fun. two again, actually, you're allowed the to The nothing fuck. hour. Yeah, the nothing oh hour. Oh my God, you need to claim IP on that right now. <laughs> I just did. Yes, it's Ashley's. It's if, mine. If someone, oh, that's also when they're allowed to do gay stuff and it's not gay. <laughs> there it, it is. Happen. Are it we writing happen. a movie together? I think we're writing a movie together. Kate, get in here. Yeah, get in Let's here. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Can we go to Kate? Yes. Kate, did you have gay sex this week? All right, I'll tell I'll tell my my gay. Se- I was gonna say my gay sex f- for the week was um, gardening, but really most of the gardening was Chelsea gardening and me watching it. So I really can't say that I partook in it. Uh, I A little voyeurism though. Okay, I, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah you you voyeurist me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Get away from there, you that. you evil aphids! Don't don't bite those. <laughs> Those are good plants. My God, you should have seen me with the electric fly swatter today. <laughs> wow. Going after the fucking asparagus. Asparagus is, it, is my favorite wait a food second. in the world. Is it a Hitachi Yo. electric fly swatter? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I can't catch a single fucking fly. It's so hard because you swing and then the air pushes them out of your way. Flawed system. Anyway. <laughs> We, asparagus is my favorite food in the world. You're such a dad, dude. Asparagus is my favorite food in the world. So we planted it. You can't harvest until year three. The time has finally arrived. Wait, what? (laughs) This is a three-year investment? Yes. No. And so I snipped my first asparagus. Wait, hold on. I need the perfect, (laughs) where the fuck is it? And they were delicious. Hey! They were so fucking yes. good. I had them for lunch today. And then on the, because you cut the stalk. So then there's kind of like asparagus flesh showing. And the flies were just all over it. But see, the asparagus will keep coming and coming. So I'm like, get away yeah. from there, you flies. And I only zapped two out of like the fucking dozens. Oh, my old. gosh. But A that's video amazing. game where Kate electric zaps flies. <laughs> Someone... <laughs> Please, I know women in STEM, you're not listening because you don't exist. You lose points if you accidentally smash your asparagus before it's ready to harvest. (laughs) That's beautiful. Yeah. Oh, my God. That's gay sex? That's That's, kind of my gay sex. That's gay sex enough? My other one is that I, I wanted to... Okay, for trans stuff, the internet is both a marvel and a disaster. I thought you were going to say a marvel and a DC. But okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh there's so many people who are sharing their experiences being trans etc that that's a wonderful way of connecting and being like unalone, but ultimately everyone's like experience with like medicine or surgery or whatever is like very specific to them. Yes. Um so then when you try to straight up just find like facts it is an awful, awful place. It's also hard because we live in a universe now where people, ev- if I had a nickel for every diagnosis that is made about me because of something I said on this podcast. <laughs> oh, mentally? Oh, psychologically? Yeah. But also just like health wise. Like oh. someone was like, Ashley, you're clearly celiac. And I was like, no, I'm not. I don't <laughs> know what yeah, I so did that was so, I didn't eat gluten and then have a horrible out like a well so it's it is both the internet like being a, a poor organizer of information Are looking at your poop <laughs> I, yeah they literally i'm pooping and putting it out <laughs> patreon.com yes the top tier is a vial of poop uh, <laughs> 
and a gluten, some also, sort of gluten intolerance test. <laughs> test me for gluten intolerance. <laughs> <laughs> but just for like, um, the, the internet is a poor organizer of information. Also, too little research has been done about hormones, uh, surgeries, etc. Like the, uh, just general hand, trans health in general. Too little research. So you have like kind of like a dearth of information, poorly organized, and then also incredibly inaccessible. Like mm-hmm. either either it's something you can't trust where it's like 10 bullet points of like, this is what will happen on testosterone. Or it's like a straight up scientific paper that like, I can't That you have understand. to decipher. You know, well, there is, and I don't, this is, it sucks because I do know some people in the medical field. So my good friend, Governor Ron DeSantis, he actually <laughs> of Florida, he knows nothing. That was, I was <laughs> fucking with you. I don't know any doctors. <laughs> You thought I was really gonna be helpful. You you got a master's <laughs> degree, don't you? Yeah, in theater. Yeah, I can. Kate, I can you help you. I can help people? you project. <laughs> <laughs> your feelings or your voice. Your yeah. feelings. Kate, <laughs> Kate does not need any help projecting their voice. I'll say that. Uh, a huge I, diaphragm. Huge diaphragm. <laughs> uh, the but biggest. So I, I read on Twitter testosterone will shrink it. <laughs> Oh, that's what see, everything is. That's I what, I, that's what I'm you. dealing with. That's what I'm dealing with. <laughs> so, uh, so I was like, okay, I want to talk to an actual endocrinologist and like ask questions to a medical doctor who is looking at my blood work and looking at my body and like asking me my lifestyle and my health history, etc. And so I went to schedule an appointment with an endocrinologist. And the first one that's available is September 20th. Jesus. Get that appointment and get on the wait list. I know, but I just like, and I th- I know this is nothing new. I, this is really nothing new. But like, we call every week. Be <laughs> like, did you have any dropouts this week? Yeah. I know you shouldn't have to do that. Right. But. Yeah. But also that's, do it. But I just wanted to say it to not so much to like complain because I somehow was able to finagle kind of a consultation with somebody else. Like if I wanted to start, I, I don't think I would be able to. But at least it's a first conversation. But like I just wanted to highlight it because so many people. Yes. Have to deal with this on top of the like financial burden of it or whatever. I'm very lucky that I'm on Medicaid. So it's a, it's a, an appointment six months away that I won't have to pay for. But <laughs> I just wanted to highlight it as something that sucks. Yeah. And this is just an appointment. Yeah. This is not like a surgery or something which costs even more money and takes even longer to happen. You have to get like four referrals for surgery, right? I think it depends on the state. It. I didn't know that. When someone t- Mississippi, when, you need 17. <laughs> in Mississippi, <laughs> they actually just give you like a truck to drive out of the state. They, just, <laughs> they go, we cannot help you with your gender dysphoria, but... This is a Chevrolet. Uh, you know, do you I, want to leave? I bet there are some trans masks who get in the truck and are like, "This is enough." Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> this is actually this is the feeling I was going yeah. for. This, my, I wanted to always feel like I'm in a truck. Yeah. <laughs> god, god, some real. This has been a really good comedy episode. There have been some really good. I love our jokes. comedian episodes. Oh, this yeah, is good. and you're oh, obviously wow. extremely talented. Yeah. yeah, both of you are extremely talented. Yeah. I just basically made it sound like it's the end of the episode, but I didn't check in to see. No, if I were. don't really have anything else to share. Just kind of wanted to put that out there. And I and How big really are the asparagus. There, so they are the skinny ones are like my pinky, and the fat ones are like my thumb. So, and then there are some that aren't ready yet. Like they're skinnier than my pinky. And if they're skinnier than your pinky, you shouldn't really. Are they um, purple and green yet. or are they just green? They are, they are green asparagus, but they have some purpley white at it, the bottom. That's, that's so fascinating to yeah. me. I, uh, one time I had a really big, thick asparagus. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know what I'm saying. I know. Come on. Why do you think I asked about the asparagus? And? I was trying to create. And? I was trying to create penis fodder. And? Yes, yes. Penis fodder. It's one of the more actual penis-shaped things. Yeah. A lot of things kind of look like penises. And I guess they're uncircumcised. They are circumcised. Oh. They have the the glands. They have like an actual like oh, I see. tip that looks fundamentally different. Eggplants don't. Eggplants are blunt at the end. Yes, mm-hmm. right. 
Are you growing eggplant as well? Uh, we are. Yeah. Really? Which one makes yeah. it feel a, more euphoric. This is a phallic garden. We have. We have. Well, yeah. Then we got jalapenos. Yeah. What? This <laughs> is. I love this. And then we've got uh, squash and zucchini, which <gasps> are also kind of. We grew. Is this a big? The biggest squash and zucchini. No, we have this like little strip that's like. Um, they sent me a picture. <laughs> It's a strip from like you here to the bed. You sent a zucchini pick, and I had to put my phone down. I was like, I'm working. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> it was NSFW. Like it was like it was like this big. Okay, why isn't it on so Twitter? Heavy. Why can't I share and we tw- retweet it and have all of my gay friends go? What's his name? <laughs> Love it. They'll be like, it. I think I can have a little Italian in They're you. They're like yeah. zucchini. <laughs> I was literally about to make that joke. I was literally about to go. You say zucchini. They're like, I love Italian guys. Yeah. <laughs> but that was good. That was better and faster yeah. as usual. Green or yellow? <laughs> we So we have the yellow summer squash and mm-hmm. then the green zucchini squash. I, these are all things I love. Wait, I, wait olive oil, salt and pepper, and yeah. just on and the then grill, done. hot pan. Yeah. So good. It's just done right, right there. <sighs> I love this. I love. So it, good. I'm old. I like vegetables now. I love them. You have to come over. I'll cook for you. You're vegetarian? Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. Are you? No. Okay. I mean, because can I say something culturally insensitive? (laughs) Yeah. Because, like, you're Latin. You can't. (laughs) It's not. uh, Try all you want. That is true. Well, and so is my partner. And her father (laughs) describes salad as food for the food. (laughs) (laughs) When I was in in Puerto Rico, I had a a hard time, actually. Colombia is even harder. They'll be like, we'll give you the salad inside of a pig. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, yes! We'll put it in the pig. Yeah. You're like, I don't, but I don't need the pig. Where are you going to eat the salad out of then? <laughs> How are you going to? I ate a lot of plantains. <laughs> oh, well, those are wonderful. Yes. Yeah. Very good. So, <laughs> that filling. Was, that was basically all I ate, honestly. <laughs> plantains, pizza fries. Uh, rice and beans. We found this one place for the morning. Why are we talking? This is stupid. This is part of the queer experience. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> na- na- navigating foreign places with a with a vegan. Yeah. <laughs> a vegetarian. Vegetarian. Mostly vegan. And Mostly now, vegan. And now, Ashley only eats Brazilian. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> nom, 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 nom. She did make a joke about it. Oh. When we were in bed, I was like, she started messing around, and I was like, I don't actually, because I did my Brazilian. I have a joke about having yeah. Brazilian. Yeah. I love that joke. Thank you. That's, oh, my gosh. I love Tried that and so true. Much. Straight people love it. I was like, oh, I don't actually have the Brazilian. You're and right. it's I had a Brazilian two it, years ago. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's a mess down there. Since the pandemic happened, I've been a lot that's, looser. That's what I'm saying. You can't go all the yeah. time. It's a pandemic. It's, it's, it's not a mess. mess. It's a mess. It's Bro, a, it's a mess. No, I can. Not. There's wild, which is what it is. It's like, you're, it's like a garden. <laughs> Doesn't mean it's not good. It's like there. a garden like, in that you're growing a, a penis shaped appendage. I out am, of it. and I'm gonna give it to you when I'm done. <laughs> I'm gonna bring it over for a dinner party. Oh my god! But it's like a garden in that. Look, it doesn't make the quality of the stuff worse that it's not super. There's weeds and shit. You know what I mean? But there's <laughs> you don't want to go walking through my garden right now for an aesthetic like a de- like right going to the garden right now is you don't want to take your wedding photos at this right? Garden. Yes, exactly. I just exactly. I'm such a as. A freak. I love it. I love it. I don't. Hair is hot. No hair is hot. Little hair is it's, hot. Lots like of hair. hair is hot. It's long. Braid it. I don't care. I'm down. It's going to get in your teeth. I like it. I was, I'll save on floss. Yeah. I, there have been multiple times where someone's like, oh, I'm kind of hairy. And I was like, send the pic. <laughs> I, want, I like my menus with pictures. I'm a child. <laughs> no, yeah. I, I like it all. Like my well, pictures. just so, so she, I can be like that thing. So this, we're in there. Is it gonna look like this? I don't know what it's called, but I want it. <laughs> we're in bed. She, I go. I, I don't have my. I don't have a Brazilian, and she goes, "Yeah, you do." Aww, Aww. that's yeah. sweet. <laughs> yeah, and then I nursed from her teat, and I said, "Mommy, mommy." No, I didn't. Do that. <laughs> um, <laughs> anyway, shall shall butt we do plugs. butt plugs? Yeah. <laughs> butt plugs. What are you working on? Butt plug. Butt plug for me, I have a show at Union Hall, May 21st. It's called Jay Jordan, Just Jokes. It's me, and it's just stand-up. That's it. I know. It's good stand-up. Yeah, it's fun, good, queer stand-up. Ashley does an amazing job, and I'm so excited. I think more queer people, more queer babies, more gaybies are going to discover that they can 
in fact, enjoy going to see stand up comedy. Yes. Yeah. They can yeah. and they should. So if you're queer and you want to see good stand up, May 21st, 730 Union Hall. Anyone who hasn't yeah. done it. It's such a cool, crazy thing because it is sort of like people went, let's put on a show. And people were like, make it fancy. No, no, no. Just give them a microphone and some stuff. Yeah. Don't. No, no, no. We don't got yeah. the money for all that. Just go out there. Talk about your dad. He's dead. Go. Uh, you know, like that's to me, it's so fun. And I come from like a theater background and it, there's a very pure performance element to stand up that I think a lot it's of people pure. really enjoy. There's pure. a purity to it. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. It's so it's so pure. When we talk about sex and crazy, we talk about threesomes on stage. It's the most. Listen, pure. we're going to talk about zucchinis as cocks. It's the purest. Yeah. Thing. It is the distillation it, of the comedic is. spirit. Yeah, so that's my butt plug. Nice, great butt plug. Know, anything you want to plug? Yeah. Also at Union Hall on May 26th, kind of uh, swinging in the other direction, we got a drag variety show for you, the Thank Luke Ass Spectacular. Like and I am going to be doing t a topical monologue at this show. That is Ooh. my challenge for myself to do a topical monologue because I love writing topical jokes, but I've yet to be hired by a late night show. Jimmy's! <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, so I'm going to challenge myself to do that. So I get to do a little joke writing. And uh, you can sign up for my mail and text list at katesisk.com. At the katesisk on Instagram and Twitter. All right. I guess my shows are my shows every Sunday and it has the best comedians like Kate. So fun. And Jay. And Just did it. One day Alex will be on the show. <laughs> and you got you got LA coming up. Have yeah, you talked yeah. about that? Yeah, it's sold out, so. <laughs> <laughs> One more time for my tour dates, ashleygavin.com. We got Nebraska coming up. That should just tell you all of the places that I'm coming. I am coming everywhere, and you're not going to probably hear about it on here or Instagram or TikTok. That's just the way the stats go. The best way is to be on my email or text list, and I'll only reach out to you when I'm in your area. And then, of course, patreon.com slash WHGS. Support this podcast. We literally cannot do it without you. You are the reason this podcast runs. Thank you so much if you're already donating. And you can donate as little as a dollar a month. And then my gay thought today sort of related to just my frustration with being currently I'm shadow banned on Instagram. You can't search for me. Um, I don't go into the Explore page. I got some content violations on TikTok for God knows what. I'm learning that, you know, I get limited monetization on YouTube and certain brands don't want to work with a podcast called Gay Sex. We're having gay sex. And it's just so interesting because if you really break it down, like there's sort of two stereotypes about gay sex. It's like it's that it's somehow more perverse and weird and different. But then the other side of it, particularly with lesbians or people with vulvas, is that, well, what could that possibly be? Isn't that e real? Like if there's no if there's no penis, what's what's happening there, you know? And it's this weird combination because it's like, okay, so which one is it? Is it the thing that you couldn't possibly imagine because there's no penis there? So like what even, what is it just the things that we do for foreplay? Or is it incredibly perverse and you can't even like, bah! Like which which one of those two is it? And it, it really does remind me of like the, di like what women have traditionally faced, the dichotomy of like the virgin and the and the whore. You know what I mean? And it's just frustrating that it's it's actually quite easy to imagine. And frankly, I think less perverse. I think gay sex is less perverse. Come is come is the most per no offense to the gay men who listen to this and the straight men, the cis men, but we don't have come. You're gonna tell me that my sex life is more perverse? No. Put ads on my podcast. No, I'm incredibly grateful for this experience, but it is frustrating. It's frustrating to have to deal with suppression when if it's straight sex they'll let it fly or if it's like you know the happy go lucky yay gay people they'll like let that fly but anything kind of edgy it's doubled because of my sexuality it's frustrating all right that's my gay thought for today let me know if you relate to that in your own work or daily life thanks listeners you guys are the best you you are the best. <laughs>